Trippi, former Howard Dean campaign manager and a Fox News contributor. Matt Schlapp is chair of the American Conservative Union and a former White House political director under President George W. Bush. So 1,100 donors previously undisclosed. The foundation says 28 of them or so gave a quarter of a million dollars or more. Joe, it, it, it sounds a little fishy. Well, it may sound, uh, you know, fishy, but the, the facts are that uh, under Canadian law, the, and not the federal law, the, the federal law would have let them disclose uh, these donors, but there's a provincial law that prohibits the, the Canadian charity from disclosing those names uh, even to the Clinton Foundation in the United States. So I think, look, it's a very complicated issue. It doesn't look good. I understand that. And these kinds of questions are going to dog uh, the uh, Clinton campaign for some time here. But uh, this one, I think there was a, a, an explanation that, you, you know, we'll see if it holds water, but there does seem to be a legal reason for it ha having occurred this well, way. The, the former, in the, in the Bloomberg article that's out today, the former director of tax policy at Canada's Department of Finance said there were no tax laws that prevent disclosure of the names. He says there's nothing that would preclude them from releasing the names of the donors. That, that's that, right. that, Go ahead, Joe. That's true for uh, uh, as a federal provision, but there's a provincial uh, provision that does. Uh, I think the Washington Post reported uh, that does uh, that that may be accurate in terms of what the Clinton Foundation is cl is claiming. All right, Matt, uh, we were promised transparency and full dis right. disclosure from Hillary Clinton. Are we getting it? No. Matter of fact, I think this is nothing but a pass through. They went through. They created this Canadian organization to get these contributions and to have this event, and then organization, Canadian-based organization, then funneled these funds through the Clinton Foundation, so they had this artifice to be able to say, oh, we can't disclose them. The problem with what Joe's saying is every tax expert, including international tax ex experts, are telling Bloomberg, the New York Times, the Washington Post, that there's absolutely no reason they can't disclose these donors. Now we have the head of the Clinton Foundation characterizing these donors by saying, well, most of them were small donors, and most of them were Canadian-based. Hillary Clinton, once and for all, needs to put all of this out on the table. If she's not hiding anything, let the American people see it. What about that, Joe? I mean, should she make more disclosures and just, just lay all of this out there? Well, well, one, I think Matt's wrong on one, one point. I think the reason uh, that they, they set up, uh, the, or the reason this, this Canadian charity was set up this way, was to, so that Canadian uh, donors would get a, Can a Canada tax break or uh, like we do here in the states for charitable contributions you have to do it that way they wouldn't get that for giving to a US charity directly so I think there's a good reason for why it got why this happened this way uh, I think the Clinton Foundation is trying to uh, uh, the rule was that uh, is that they can't um, uh, let the names out and the information out without the uh, agreement of the donor and the, themselves now I think they're going back to the 28 to do that and yeah. will do that and I think you know if, if it were me the, uh, the whole 1100 they should ask them for permission as well why, why did she tell the State Department that she would disclose all these names including this entity that's the part I have a problem with the pledge she makes to the American people and to the State Department, and by the way, to her president and to our president, is that there would be full disclosure. Don't give me some Canadian rule as to why she can't disclose and follow what she told the president she'd do. Well, they weren't. The, 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 the Canadian charity wasn't even disclosing to the Clinton Foundation who these don donors were. But so, the I Clinton mean, Foundation now you knew, get even to the, that's they not knew that there was a Canadian charity, Bill obviously. Clinton, Bill Clinton met all these donors because he went to the event in Canada and met them. That's why they gave the money. They knew this was happening. They knew exactly what was happening, and they should disclose it. The Clinton Justra Enterprise uh, Foundation, um, Enterprise Partnership, rather, it did share, I mean, not only does it have the Clinton name, but it used the logo of, of, of the, uh, the Clinton Foundation. It, it seems like very much um, just, a, just a different arm of the same organization, Matt. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, this is this is the problem with all this is that, you know, in politics, when it takes you 20 minutes to try to 
go through all the ham and eggs of what all this means, you're losing. And the Clintons are losing because they're coming up with really weak excuses as to why they don't have full disclosure. They could have gone to all these donors right at the time and said, we've made a commitment to Barack Obama and to the State Department that we're going to disclose your name. And they could have signed a waiver right at that moment. They didn't do that because they didn't want to do that, because they don't want to be talking about the fact that this guy raised a bunch of money in Canada so that he could get approval from the State Department to do some business dealings. Underneath this are some troubling questions. Maybe they have good answers for them, but until there's disclosure, we won't get those answers. Well, let's hope we do get all of the answers uh, coming up. Matt Schlapp, Joe Trippi, thank you both. Thanks, Joe. Good to be with you.